Despite the one-sided beatdown Crawford handed Spence Jr. and the lack of desire by fight fans to see a run back, Spence Jr. activated the rematch clause in their contract and Crawford was obliged by law to honor. More than six months down the line, no progress has been made on the rematch. Crawford and Spence Jr.'s next opponent remain uncertain. Some fans now wonder, was activating the rematch clause a hook to ensure that on the night when Bob ate his largest fish, he would never go out again in time to eat another fish? Or is the delay actually a tactic to ensure that H catches up more with Crawford by the time both fighters finally step into the ring, event of which may make it easier for Spence to beat Crawford? In the build-up to the fight and shortly after the fight, a number of fighters were in the mix of Crawford's next opponent. There was Jumel Charlo, which Crawford later said he was not interested in anymore. There was Jaron Boot Ennis, whom Crawford said he was not interested in because he would get no credit for the fight. There was Canelo Alvarez, who has rejected the possibility of fighting Crawford because he will not get any credit in the fight. There was Tim Zhu, who later lost his WBO world title to Sebastian Fundora. There was even the 2020 Fighter of the Year, Theofimo Lopez, who while challenging Crawford to a bout, taunted him that he lost Fighter of the Year 2023 and that Bord should concentrate on untangling himself from the rematch entanglement he found himself. Crawford's promotional contract with PBC has expired and from the look of things, his rematch clause with Errol Spence no longer holds well. But Bolt is yet to find a worthy opponent as he is not ready to fight for 6 digit million bucks in lieu of 7 digit million bucks. Life is a bad. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean.